we discuss the elephant in the room? Oh, I have my new wardrobes fitted. I have a full video coming very soon. I still need to organize it, put everything away in it, but that video is coming very soon, so stay tuned for that. But hello guys, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new vlog. I decided today in the spirit of Valentine's approaching, that I would do a bit of a haul at the start of this video. And I am very grateful that I am partnering with Shein for this part of today's video. And I also have a discount code for you guys. So I will leave it all kind of linked below everything that I mentioned. Well, the discount code is loves5474. So that will get you discount off your purchase. And they have a whole host of goodies, whether it be fashion, homeware, they've got Valentine's things for gifting. They've got like home decor, date night outfits, whatever it is that you need, Shein have a very large selection. We'll start this vlog with a bit of a Shein haul. And then I'm not really sure where the rest of the day is gonna take me. I'm thinking potentially we could do some baking, might go for a walk. Just looking outside though, it's pretty dark and miserable. So hopefully it might brighten up a little bit. I do have like a couple of homey type updates as well that I was gonna share with you, but yeah. Just a random day in the life type vlog today. I hope you guys enjoy it. I've only kind of peeked at things, so I've not properly unboxed or had a look at everything just yet. Uh, but let's just start with this. This is like a co-ord that I saw online that I thought would be perfect for, just for a nice home day, but to look nice. So if you want to be comfy in loungewear, but a nice matching set, I thought this would be lovely. And also versatile, because you can mix and match. So the top, for instance, is a gorgeous high neck. I love this kind of neck. And it's not waffle, but it's a real textured kind of knit top. Quite long as well. But this is the matching pair of bottoms. What size did I get this in? I got them in a medium and they are nice and high-waisted, waist stretchy with a drawstring as well, so size up if you wanna in between sizes and you want to go for comfort because you can just cinch in that waist. But a nice, simple, wide, straight leg, really thick, cozy knit that's not at all itchy, it's nice and soft, really random. I'm going from like fashion to home, probably back to fashion and then back to home. But anyway, this is, um, it's like a little ceramic pot that they actually described as a espresso mug, or you could just use it as a cute little trinket dish. It's a real textured ceramic, which is what I love. I love that kind of rustic textured effect. This, oh, there's been a rustle, so therefore there is a puppy that's come to inspect. Oh, that was a heavy sigh. Are you all right? This is... Are you gonna sit here with mommy? Anyway, this is something that I was very excited to get. And I knew I wanted to, as soon as I next put in a Shein order, I was like, I'm gonna order that because I actually, this is a repurchase. I actually bought this last time I did a Shein haul, but I got it in a large thinking that it would be a bit snug and it wasn't. So I needed to get a medium, just stay true to size with this one. It's from their Glow Mode, which is like a kind of um, athleisure leggings, in this case, jumpsuit. And it's the, I don't wanna say the exact same material, but there's very little difference with this versus like my usual leggings that I wear. Just so comfy, honestly. So couldn't recommend that enough and proof's in the pudding because I ordered the exact same thing, but just in my size. Um, okay, Valentine's themed. We're our first like Valentine's themed item. So I got this set of blow up balloons. You can obviously put a helium in them, in them or you could just use like a little straw um, in the gap and just blow them up and maybe attach them to like a string or something. But they're a set of beige love heart balloons. They're like a champagne and a blush kind of color. So this is like the champagne-y beige. And then can you see that one's a bit more pinky? So there's two of each. I think that's the little straw that comes with it. Okay, what do we have in here for like Christmas? Oh yeah, okay, this is actually something for the pooch sat behind me. I saw these on TikTok online and they're basically like a 
scratcher for their claws because he absolutely hates having his nails clipped at least by me anyway usually i just get the groomers to do it but in between i thought it'd be good he's very good at training learning new tricks and stuff to get him to use this so essentially hide some treats in this little pouch and then using their paw they have to scratch at it to get it open to get to the tree basically like a huge one huge nail file again valentine's themed i picked up this phone case and there's just these little shiny hearts on a mac mac matte black phone case i got the cutest little earrings and i feel like i saw these over christmas and i thought they could totally be valentine's or all year round as well i got these cute little earrings i got them in silver as well the silver ones are slightly smaller um so these are a bit more of a statement one but how cute are they just little simple gold bows for if you've got otherwise a quite plain and simple say all black outfit on you just want to jazz it up with some nice earrings and i thought they were adorable i also got this calendar and they had a few different sizes of this i went for this smaller kind of desk sized calendar i'm actually thinking of giving this to tom to pop in his room it's actually got on the front 2024 calendar year of dragon is it the year of the dragon this year i'm a monkey anyone else i've got another pair of gorgeous little valentine's themed earrings and these are tiny little studs so i'm going to show you these a bit more closer up can you see they're just like miniature little hearts so gorgeous and then i got three of these these come as individuals i saw them and the way that they had these styled up they're these tiny little velvet bow clips you could obviously use them for like decorating whether it be presents cards whatever crafting but i saw this like hair i think they had it styled up as like a little hair um style hairstyle i'm thinking of maybe even doing like a little instagram or something like a reel with different valentine's hairstyles but like say if you had a plait or something somewhere and you just had these three little bows and then again like i said some larger bows got a red one which is quite like a bright vibrant red well it's quite big as well but i mainly got it for the black one so i've got like a champagne gold bow already and i just thought a black one would come in really handy as well or obviously red for maybe like christmas or valentine's say if you've got like a a half up do or something or even a ponytail and just have that clipped in the back i just think elevates a very simple outfit for gifting as well or even for like a diy hair bow i got some ribbon and they do loads of different sizes colors and i picked up this size in particular because again i thought this size would be good if i wanted to do one huge bow on a gift or a diy bow for my hair got it in a standard classic burgundy deep red again for valentine's I'm not really sure if we're going to do gifts this year with tom and i we were thinking about potentially going away but i'm sure i'll be buying him something even if it's just a big box of chocolates that i can wrap up with some nice ribbon oh, can you see the love hearts i got the cutest pj set so this is actually i think it's a three piece you get the shorts which look like so with the little the cream with the little um red love hearts on and then also to go with it just a basic red little crop top but then you also get with this set a long pair as well see it's like a ribbed cream color with the little red bow as well so adorable and who doesn't love a themed pair of pajamas because i certainly do what do we have in here oh yes okay this is just under bed storage with having the new wardrobes i'm just having a bit of a organize and clear out and yeah storage solutions and everything and i definitely realized that under my bed which is where i was storing my shoes before which we're now are now going to be moved into here frees up a load of under bed storage that i was thinking for towels and linens so i just picked up a couple of different options actually just to try out and see for sizing and material but this is just like a thin lightweight one that just stretches out to that far so it's like quite big but not very tall and i also got this one which i think if i remember rightly is a bit deeper yeah this one's a bit more sturdy and it's also got the uh handles on the end as well 
and it just zips open at the top. So that one's just a bit deeper, a bit bigger. I feel like I'll use that one or I'll prefer that size. I might pick up some more of those. Okay, back to fashion. This is something that I thought was very sort of totem vibes. I know Zara did some dupes for them as well. And I feel like this kind of has a similar look with the edging, the piped edging. Um, but it's just a knit kind of overcoat slash cardigan that I thought was giving designer vibes. Oh, again, another bow for a potential hair accessory. It's like a slide, slider grip. Love heart, but glitzy love heart. Just for a little idea as to what that's going to look like. Again, you could do it at the back or the side or within a ponytail or plait or something. At the top, I think it'd be quite cute just to have one like that, almost like where you would have uh, a bow, like the satiny silky bow but just a clip instead okay next up i picked up these leggings which reminded me of the tala ones with the sort of gray thick super thick waistband and then they go into a slight flare at the bottom yeah medium us6 so yeah that's a uk 10 but i don't know yeah, they might be all right yeah they are quite stretchy actually so yeah they'll probably be fine but yeah just a simple flared legging sorry just had a bit of a pit stop there my mum just called so I just went and made a coffee oh I've really hurt my foot I was playing with Barney yesterday and I was just like running around the kitchen chasing him and I stubbed my toe the hardest I think I've ever stubbed my toe my it's like my baby toe and the two toes next to it which hurt but my baby toe has like gone all bruised and swollen and oh, I don't know if it's broken or not, but trying to walk the dog on it, it's it's a challenge. Anyway, so coffee break, or tea break actually, I've got peppermint tea. And I've unboxed everything else because everything was in boxes, but I thought I would um, just show you the rest of the Shein bits, obviously, we're still on the Shein haul. Anyway, I've got a couple of these books, but there are display books that are actually boxes, so I thought they would look lovely on our bookshelf. Obviously, we've got quite a bit of space to fill out on that bookshelf, and these are really good for, well, these are the three different designs that I've got. Um, interiors for slow living we've got the kinfolk home i quite like this one this one's probably my favorite and you can put your tv remotes in there as well nice little hack that i've seen on tiktok and then i've got some cute valentine's day crockery these are all adorable they're all in the same print and it's basically just white ceramic with these little painted love hearts kind of look looks like what you could like create yourself we've got this kind of casserole dish and yeah good for little knickknacks and nibbles in there and then i also got a mini little side plate and bowl and this bowl has like the bobbled edging as well just so cute and then even as a side plate but also as a little uh saucer for this mug which how cute is that it's really different and unique it's like got a regular shape on the top which i love and kind of hammered edging i also got one last crockery item in a the different range a different range but it's got the bobbled edging just not the little heart print details and i thought this would be a cute little trinket dish you can just pop like your rings in beside your bed for a little dipping bowl for in fact yeah i might pop that on our island for valentine's for our little salt pinch pop cute right anyway last but not least i got this three sets of um stackable wooden like in a dark wood as well which i love little display boards so you can obviously use these for all different things little candle plates you can use them as a little plant stand decorative beside your bed again just to store um little trinket dishes and your rings and a uh, pillow mist however you want to use them i feel like when you organize things onto a tray it looks far less cluttered and looks like it's meant to be there that is everything that i picked up from shein i hope you enjoyed this little shein haul especially valentine's themed with valentine's fast approaching let me know if you've got any valentine's plans yourself if you have any yet let me know i need some suggestions and ideas on if we do go away where me and tom can go even if it's just like somewhere i'm thinking in like the lake district with the dog again and just go on a nice dog walk if my foot's better <laughs> i'm sure it will be by then but anyway thanks for 
working with me, Shein. And for more gift ideas, Valentine's Day outfits, home decor, wish list items for Valentine's, be sure to check out Shein via the links in my description box below. And don't forget to use that discount code, which is loves5474. I'll leave it in the description box along with all the links. Like I said, enjoy, happy shopping, and let's get on with the rest of today's vlog. I saw her up on the hill on her way to the mill, proud and all loud. But where are you now? I feel like I look a little bit windswept, but just got back from a lovely walk. I did end up going out for a nice long walk and met up with my friend Lydia. So we are now back. Aren't we, Marnie? He's in like the most playful mood ever. <laughs> Did you have fun seeing Otty? Mr. Otty? Did you? Which toy are you going for? The rabbit. The bunny rabbit. We went to Dunhamass if you are interested. It's a gorgeous National Trust type walk. The car park was closed, but it was fine. We just kind of parked on the side, which I guess if you don't have a National Trust, you can do that anyway, and you don't even have to like pay for National Trust to walk at Dunhamassey because you just walk over the stall and have a walk around. But anyway, um, yeah, we would have parked in the car park, but it was closed for staff training or something. Um, but anyway, we are back now. I actually have a video that I need to film tomorrow, so I need to wash my hair today. I'll open this with you guys because Lydia gave me this. It's a, Bit of a belated birthday gift because we haven't seen each other since my birthday so sure as you guys are aware i had covid basically the day after my birthday i had plans to see her but we had to cancel we had to rearrange because covid striped anyway i think we're going to do a regular weekly walk like that because it was there's so many lovely walks near us oh what is it Table book Barney's not for you. This is one of the I've seen this. In fact, did I give this to someone for Christmas? I feel like I did. It's not for you as much as you love opening presents. You want to pretend to open it? <gasps> oh my god, he's going crazy. Bye. This is what Christmas does to a puppy. When Santa Claus comes, you just think every gift is for you, don't you? Although that's his favorite part anyway, the paper. <gasps> Barney! Can you hear him growling? What have you got? Oh, I'll let you have fun with that anyway. But yeah, gorgeous book. This is called The Art of Home. It's actually a new book. It's so beautiful as far as like aesthetically pleasing coffee table books go. I'll just give you a quick sneak peek of some of oh, honestly guys. So much inspiration. My favourite books for by far are interiors books. Look at that. Although each time I look in an interiors book, it does make me want to redecorate the entire house. <laughs> um, but yeah, love this. Might make a little coffee and have a little flick through this this afternoon. <gasps> love it. Look at that vanity unit. The marble. Love, 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 love. We almost went with tiles like this in um, the top bathroom and then we went with the vertical green ones which are nice but I actually really like these and I thought these would look good in the dog wash station as well downstairs and speaking of we do need to retile that because one of the tiles like the bottom tiles is cracked and the grout is just looking a bit shabby so we need to um we need to have a redecorate oh look at that view that's a view you want from your bedroom, isn't it? I'm thinking about getting some kind of greenery or olive tree in our bedroom as well. Because I'm loving this kind of linens. We've got the darker wall colour on our bedroom anyway, which is Lick Beijo 1. So I'm thinking some kind of um, olive tree like this. Maybe even some linen curtains in front of the shutters. 
let me know what you think and because we've moved the wardrobe out of there now we've got a space which I thought we could have a little chair like this um or potentially a mirror or maybe both I'm not sure um but yeah I love that aesthetic even the little rustic bench at the bottom of the bottom of the bed this is mountainside retreat Utah I feel like we need to find a home for this in this room maybe for now shall we pop it here does it go with that one or maybe even just pop it under this photo frame which i got from zara home and just pop it there for now i need oh go fetch where is it barn we taught him fetch let's see if he'll bring me the mail Come on then, go fetch. Good fetch. Go get the other one. Bless him. Oh, there's loads to get. He doesn't know which one to get first. Can you see where you're going? Thank you, go fetch. <laughs> one day we are gonna regret this, aren't we? And we're gonna come home to de destroyed mail. Give him a big treat after this. Ah, uh, don't destroy it. No, no, no. Oh, see, this is what I'm saying. One day we're going to come home to destroyed mail. And it's going to be really important. Thank you. Good boy. One more. <laughs> We've already got destruction. Last one. Oh, where's it gone? Good boy. Well done. He says, I would rather have the envelope to destroy. That's my treat. I'm going to give you a gravy bone. Nice. I had um, questions on this jar recently. I can't remember if it was you that asked. It is HomeSense. And I've just got one of the, um, where did that label come from? Treats. I think that was a B&M label, treats jar. And yeah, it's just got like a little wooden lid. Um, yeah, treat jar. Still need to do some organizing of this pantry, guys. I know I did it a while ago. I did that larder unit, which is done, but I need to do the rest of the rest of the pantry might do some of that today actually yeah we could do that couldn't we bit of a pantry organize i feel like i'm in the spirit for it with me needing a hair wash and everything and just my clothes on which i've worn for two days in a row i feel like we can get some pantry organizing done good thinking and then that makes me feel good for being a little bit proactive productive for the day what is this? What have I ordered? I've got another top coat and base coat from OPI. In fact, that's another thing that I need to do today. I need to do my nails, redo them. I love that the, the one that he destroyed is from the vets. <laughs> you know that it was the vets sending it, did you? And you said, no, we're destroying that letter. They're saying, Barney's drew his vaccines. Please bring him in to have some jabs. That's what they're saying. Aren't they? We need to get you vaccinated. Look at that face. Are you getting a bit grey? Are you getting a bit grey? I hope not. We're only three. Just had another huge delivery. And I know what this is, but it's a big box for what I think it might be. Let's get some scissors. Um, yeah, this. Oh, that's my phone right now. This is from Still and Bloom, I think. I think that's what it's gonna be. Basically, I had a voucher for 75 pounds for their website as a customer of theirs. And obviously, oh no, it's not. Okay, scrap that. <laughs> it's something from not Still and Bloom, but Bliss and Bloom. <laughs> that's where the confusion lies. So I think this is a Amazon purchase, actually. Because look what I've ordered. I've ordered some baskets to go. Well, I've ordered a few, actually. I've ordered some for my new wardrobe space and some for the larger unit, of which I think these ones are going to be... I think these are going to be for my wardrobe space. Yeah, the Still and Bloom thing. It's like a little wooden shelf thing that I bought. If you don't know Still and Bloom, by the way, it's the company that I got my dining table and that console from as well. 
that's still in bloom. But they've got these new shelves on their website which are £76, I think, or £79. So I thought, I'm actually going to try that. It's like a little bedside shelf. I'll show it to you when it gets here. That I was thinking maybe in the spare bedroom. Because we don't have, like, side tables for whoever stays in that spare room. Because that room is very snug with a double bed in it. There's not really any space for, uh, for like, side tables. But yeah, let me take these these upstairs and pop them in my wardrobe room. I'm gonna bring my nail stuff down actually and do my do my nails as well because they are falling off. This old gel needs to come off. Yeah, we'll do that as well before I uh, crack on with anything else. Ooh, I might have to just pop you guys down because doing this one-handed, it's not easy. Hello. It's been you all along But I've been too caught up to see it, baby We can have it all If I just could get myself together I'm not wasting another minute If it goes up in I'll take the pain If I never try to get it I can just forget it I'm done playing the waiting game I'm so done I'm all done playing the waiting game Baby, like the stars I've been a million miles away But you've been in my heart Somewhere down all this time hidden away I'm not wasting another minute If it goes up in flames I'll take the pain If I never try to just forget it I'm done playing the waiting game I'm so done I'm all done playing the waiting game Don't wanna spend one night without I'm really in that shop but there we go, so that's just finished. And what I do with my DIY at home gel polish, I thought I'd just show you how I finish it off. Um, I'll leave these bits linked below if you want to pick anything up. But I just get a lint wipe with some, what is this, nail prep and polish wipe from Miley. Just to take off that like tacky layer. And then I finish it off with um, a bit of cuticle oil so it's coconuts over opi is the color that i've gone for it's kind of like a mushroomy kind of natural beige color i really like this one it's kind of like a go-to for me um and then what's the other one that i like the other one i used to love this was my favorite two and super two this is the one that i just took off and i do still like it but it's quite pinky um so i think i prefer it a bit more in springtime same with this one do you take lay away so they're kind of like my go-to three shades for my gel nail polish. And then cuticle oil, this is just from a Q-Tex. I just dab a bit, quite a lot actually, on each of my cuticles. And then rub it in so they're nice and nourished because you do get quite dry hands when you do gel nails. I was kind of um, wanting to try DIY buyout. However, I went online last night to have a look to buy some, and you can't you can't buy it from well you can't buy it from their website anyway. So let me know if anyone knows of anywhere I could get it. You have to like upload certification to prove that you're a professional, which obviously 
I am not. So that's annoying because I would have loved to have just tried. It seems to be very similar to just doing a gel manicure. So I would have liked to have tried that myself. Um, but not to worry, gel, gel nail polish lasts a good sort of 10 days for me and I'm, I'm happy with that. And it finished results, nice and nourished and hydrated. And I've been enjoying a pucker winter warmer tea whilst doing that and catching up on Love Island from last night. And then now I feel like I've kind of, ever since I started tackling that pantry, I'm kind of thinking maybe I should just grab a bin bag and just go through any, at least kind of empty out anything that's that needs to be binned because there's a lot of food in there that's probably out of date or opened but not finished that needs to go. I just remembered as well, I had a delivery this week for um, some prints from a brand called Trove. Oh my goodness, I've just seen in the garden the first snowdrops. We're still in January. Do they usually come out that early? There's a little patch, oh there's some by the tree as well. There's a little patch over there that, I don't know if I ever told you guys in the renovation vlogs, but at one point when we were renovating, we came outside and just on like the back doorstep. So I don't know how it died, but there was a baby, a fox, baby cub, tiny, tiny cub. I don't know if a cat had got it or what, but it was just, it was gone. And we actually buried it in our garden, did a little patch and buried the poor little baby cub. Um, but yeah, there's some snowdrops that have just come up exactly where we, we buried him or her. Um, but anyway, let's <laughs> have talk over. Yeah, so I had a delivery this week from a brand called Trove Prints, which I ordered some artwork i wanted to put up some more artwork and also i had some frames in the other room that i thought i would get rather than some more photos I've got some black and white ones dotted around i quite like the look of like oil paintings quite earthy tones and colors and yeah i just i still feel like we could do with getting some more artwork on the walls but anyway for now the trove prints that i first ordered was called i think it was called forest stream 2 and i popped it in a wooden frame that i got from home since that i've shown you guys before and i'll just stand back so you can see where it is but it's on the wall behind the dining table and then i'll just show you a bit closer up what it looks like see how like moody and earthy toned it is i just love it and then this came with a like sort of thick pass part two, so that was the perfect size for it. And then we've also ordered another frame for in this black room. Tom bought some artwork when he was on his little work slash cricket trip to South Africa at the start of this year. And it is gorgeous. I'll show it to you when it's up. It's a bit different, obviously for me. It, it's not, I mean, some of the artwork he was sending, he went to a gallery and he was sending me photos and I was like, absolutely not, no, no, no. But then this one, it's actually a photo. So black and white photo, I'll show it to you in itself, it's the cutest thing, but um, yeah. So I, I wasn't really sure about having a photo on the wall, black and white photo, but I think it will look lovely here. There it is, the print is in there and it's called Madala. So I'll show it to you when we've got it framed and up on this wall, but I'm thinking under this picture um, light to have it here. So I was originally thinking something horizontal artwork wise here, but with that print that Tom bought back, I don't know where else it would go in the house. So I'm thinking we'll put it here and see how it looks. And then as for the couple of frames I did have here that I just picked up some for some prints from Trove. I've got this little one, which is kind of like a, it reminds me of a holiday home, like in France or something with the ivy and the like wooden door, the white walls. This is another kind of foresty looking one. I do feel like a passepartout would look better with that frame. So I might either switch out the frame or maybe um, get a little small passepartout just so that you've got that kind of white border to break up between the frame and the actual print itself. And then I've also got this one. This is probably my favorite of the prints. It's called Kitchen, I think. And it's like a real, again, moody, dark, get reflections on it everywhere. But yeah, it's uh, kind of like moody, 
kitchen print. Pop this on here, which I got at Christmas. Need to fill that. Kept the foliage from Neptune, the Christmas kind of foliage in here, which I'll probably switch out maybe springtime, but for now, for winter, I feel like it's not too Christmassy, so I've kept that in there. Otherwise, this is how the shelves are looking. Whilst we're on the topic of a little kind of housey updates, I'll show you upstairs as well. Wardrobe room tour transformation coming very soon but because i've had those wardrobes fitted in that other room this is kind of like how our bedroom's currently looking so as you come in through the hallway into our bedroom we have obviously our bedside drawers bed linen bedding i've just got a couple of baskets like with throw over that little ladder i've got a little throw over this ladder which I got that from Argos for like nine pounds in the sale, but it's probably not in stock anymore. It's like a Habitat home one from Sainsbury's Argos. Got a couple of baskets there with like throw cushion slippers. Another basket over here. I've got essentially this whole space here, which was where the old wardrobe was. We had like just an Ikea packs, as you can see. I need to get some ice on that carpet to remove those little lines, but... Um, yeah, so just styled up. Well, I always had my little white company lanterns there, um, but I might actually take them downstairs, put them somewhere else maybe. But for now, with this space here, I was always thinking maybe some kind of a chair, which I still think potentially just like a small little armchair style chair. Um, and um, then I was also thinking a mirror because I've kind of couple of times because there was a mirror on this wardrobe gone to sort of look in the mirror to get ready or do something and then I've realized oh yeah there's no mirror in here anymore so I'm thinking maybe in this space like a nice arched mirror from William Wood or maybe the one that I've got in the kitchen from next something like that and then a chair in front of it and then yeah we can move this beanbag downstairs I had this in my filming room but I it kind of was getting in the way I wasn't really using it so I'm thinking maybe popping that down in the basement cinema room spare bedroom something like that somewhere down there um, or even the living room wherever but um, yeah for this space this is kind of what I'm thinking so mirror chair maybe like home sense chair you know sometimes they have the odd random like single chair that looks really nice and then maybe the basket next to it and i'll just rejig that and um just pop some nice throws in it and that's that because i don't feel like we need two throw baskets in here so i'll probably take one of those downstairs but apart from that this is how it's looking i've just got like linen bedding with this like cozy and then waffle so it's like a mixture of textures we've got a little kubu wicker tray with candle and diary i've been doing a kind of turn down service which i know is kind of like hotel vibes but before getting ready for bed it's quite nice to come into this space and kind of make it ready for coming up to bed so when i come up and do my skincare which i always feel like is good to do so that it soaks into your skin rather than you doing it and then going straight on your pillow to bed so i'll pop the lamp on my little white company lamp switch that on i will light the candle i usually move it off that tray and just put it on the side but i light the candle so that it smells nice when we come up to bed take off the throw cushions and the throws pop them on the floor fold it up and yeah it's just a nice way to kind of set the mood to be able to come up to bed and everything's kind of ready for you another thing that i do as well whilst doing all of that starting with doing my skincare and everything is have my socks or slipper socks my pjs on the radiator i can feel the radiator now i'm like just stood in front of it it's nice and warm um have it on there all nice and warm and cozy did anyone else used to do that growing up i feel like you'd get in the shower and your mum would like put your pjs on the radiator and make them more cozy so that when you get out the shower you can put them on it's all like a warm hug so yeah a little turn down service that I like to do in the evenings that I've really been enjoying. Bit of self-care and also it has encouraged me as well to come up to bed a little bit earlier and do some reading because that's definitely something that I want to do more of. Um, still on the Britney Spears book, I'm a slow reader. But even if I just do a few pages a day, I get through it and I've always got a, one book on the go. Then that's just kind of my main aim. To always have a book on the go and just to read at least just a few pages a day even but sometimes when I get into it I'm like I then keep reading so 
if I aim for a couple, it usually ends up being more than a couple of pages. I've just come across gold dust. I forgot that we basically emptied a Harrods hamper because we had a little space and time to go through and do proper organization. But yeah, basically emptied everything from the Harrods hamper in here. And I've just found like lemon curd almond biscuits, clotted cream fudge, peppermint fondant. This is not great for the January diet, but Okay, we're taking things slower this January, so it doesn't really matter. But look, even things like this, oh my god, anyone else love? I feel like I hardly ever have it, but lemon curd. So yeah, I'm just on toast, just simple. Oh my gosh, love it. And we've also got things like honey. Uh, what else have we got? Shortbread biscuits. Oh my goodness, this see this is open. So this is probably no good anymore. There's only one biscuit left in there anyway, but we opened that well before Christmas. So that'll probably be a bit, you know when biscuits just go a bit like almost soggy, stale. jumping in here at the end of today's video i hope you guys have enjoyed today's vlog i just wanted to remind you guys again that shein are working with me on today's video so they have very kindly given me a discount code to give to you guys which is loves 5474 make sure to use it to save money on your next shopping trip online on shein i will leave all the links to everything that i showed at the start of this video down in the description box below along with that discount code for you to refer to thanks to them for working with me thanks to you guys for watching today's video have a lovely rest of your day and i hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys